we're going to have to make some conversions of measurements, okay? And so in order to do that properly, and let me close a few things out. My computer seems to be lagging. Um, we're going to have to get some practice at making these conversions in order to be successful and have accurate information at the end of our project. So what we want to do is problem number one says that uh, our current money situation in the U.S. U.S. money situation is a we call it decimal but it's a base 10 system now that's how we count we count in bases of 10 in other words we go one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we start over we start well technically it's zero one blah 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 and then the next line would be 10 dot 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 and then you'd have 19 over here right and then you'd have 20 and so on and so forth so then if I had uh, one penny well let's think of it a different way let's think of it if I had a, a dime is 10 cents right okay um, if I were to get one dollar I would have 10 dimes times 10, right? So it'd be 10 cents times 10 or 10 squared. And so the question in your in your physics, and, and this has to do with conversions, you're, and I'll just read it right out of the book, it says, the metric system is a decimal system or a base 10 system, and the British system is in part a Dewey decimal system or base 12. All right, so we have like 12 is a dozen, so there's 12 inches in a foot, and so on and so forth. Um, discuss the ramifications of our monetary system if it had a Dewey Decimal base. All right, what is the possible values of our coins if they were in this case? So a dollar is really 10 times 10 or 10 squared, right? If we're talking about a 10 base system. Well, if a dime was equal to 10, if I did a Dewey, or they call, well, I always say Dewey Decimal. It's not Dewey Decimal, it's Duo Decimal. Dewey Decimal System, isn't that like for the library? Why, that's silly. I'm always mispronouncing words. No wonder you guys make fun of me. Um, a Duo Decimal, that's a 12 base system. So that's a base of 12. And so what that would mean is that my dime in this system would be equal to what? So I would go 10, 11, 12 like that but I wouldn't put the ones that have like different characters or something right and then this next number would be 12 so a dime would actually be 12 cents and then a dollar would be 12 squared which would actually be a dollar 44 So there's certainly an advantage to a decimal system, right? So that's example number one. Any questions on like the difference between decimals and a base 10? So what are they talking about? Why are they mentioning this? Because the reason that a lot of scientists use the metric system, it's easy to convert, right? We count by tens. It just makes sense that we would measure by tens. But we don't. In the U.S., we measure by 12, or we measure by 2.5, or we measure by 36. And so that's kind of hard and confusing. All right? And that's the point that they're 